Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Some of you may know that for the past several years I've had a Lightroom Classic Keyboard Shortcut PDF that I've been giving away for free. Recently, a person that purchased my Ultimate Lightroom Classic training course requested that I include in the course a PDF download of the keyboard shortcuts in Lightroom Classic. Unfortunately, the PDF I currently have isn't up to date. It's missing some of the keyboard shortcuts for some of the newer functions found in Lightroom Classic, including the new masking. So I've been researching what keyboard shortcuts are new so I could update my PDF to ultimately make it available in the course when I stumbled across an article by Scott Kelby where he writes about 10 of his favorite Lightroom Classic masking keyboard shortcuts. I thought I'd piggyback off his article and make this video demonstrating six of my favorite masking keyboard shortcuts in Lightroom Classic. I'll have Scott's article linked in the description below this video. I'll also have a link to my Ultimate Lightroom Classic training course along with a discount code. So far, the course has 60 videos, over 10 hours of training, PDF outlines for each of the videos, and you can download all of the raw files that I use in the videos. I'll be continually adding to the course. Um, within the next couple of weeks, I'll not only add the keyboard shortcut PDF, but I'll be adding at least four more videos and PDF outlines of those videos. Again, a uh, link to the course and a discount code will be listed in the description below this video. Okay, six of my favorite Lightroom Classic masking keyboard shortcuts. And we take a look at this image. Uh, can you see how this part of the sand is a little bit lighter than this part of the sand? What I often like to do when I'm presented with something like this is make the part that is a bit lighter a bit lighter still. And then the part that is a bit darker a bit darker still. It just adds a little more tonal variance to the image, a little more visual interest. So I'm going to dodge and burn with a brush. Now, the first keyboard shortcut I want to share with you is if you want to use a brush mask, you don't have to go over to masking, open up masking, then click on brush. Just hit the keyboard shortcut K. And when you do, you'll automatically get a brush mask. Now, I'm going to come in here, and as I mentioned, I want to make this area a little lighter. So I need to brush it out. So we'll brush in our mask. Just try to do it very quickly. All right, and then we'll go off into the distance a little bit. All right. So there we have our first mask laid down. You can see it has a red overlay. Sometimes the red overlay though doesn't work well on all images. What if your image is predominantly red? You may not be able to make out the red overlay that well, or maybe you just don't like red. If you want to change the color of the overlay, hold in the shift key and hit the O key on your computer and you'll cycle through some different colors. So you could see, just keep hitting shift O, I'll get different colors. Often the black overlay, I could see areas I missed. So I'll sometimes hit shift O until I get the black overlay to make sure that I didn't miss anything. But I do like the red overlay, so I'll just keep hitting shift O until I cycle back to that red overlay. Now I mentioned that I want to make this a little lighter, so I'm just going to go to tone, and I'm just going to bring tone up just a tiny bit. And I mean just a little bit. It's a, it doesn't take much. So like even 0.13 on exposure. Now, I mentioned I want this part of the sand a little darker, so I need a second brush mask. Now, typically you could go up to create new mask and down to brush. There's an easier way. Of course, you could hit the K key because it's a brush, but what if you want, weren't using a brush? What if you put a linear gradient up at the top, you did some adjustments to it, then you wanted a second linear gradient down at the bottom with different adjustments. So you don't want a duplicate of the original linear gradient. You want a second linear gradient. Well, you could again go up to plus and you go down a linear gradient. There's an easier way. If you just want a second mask using the same exact mask you just did, but not a duplicate of that mask, you just want, in this case, another brush mask, hit the N key. Hit the N key, you'll get a second blank mask. And in this case, because I was using a brush, it's giving me a brush. If I was using a linear gradient, it would give me a linear gradient. If I was using a radial gradient, it would give me a linear gradient. If I was using a sky mask, it would give me a second sky mask. But it's blank. I, there's no adjustments done to it. So I could come in here now and do this area over here. So ooh, come in here, do this very quickly, and make that just a little darker. That's all. Now there's a before after. There's before and there's after. Just adds a little more visual interest to the image. In my opinion, I probably have the light one, maybe just a little bit too light. So I want to come in here and select that mask. 
and probably bring that just down, down even less. It's a very subtle adjustment. There's before and there's after. So there are a few different uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, the K key will get you a brush. No matter where you are in the develop module, it'll just automatically give you a brush mask. Uh, Shift O will change the color of the overlay. And if you want another mask, just a blank mask um, of the mask you were currently using, just hit the N key and you'll get another mask. Now, Let's say I was doing this brush stroke. Let's go to this brush here, all right? And let me just turn on the overlay for a second, all right, so you could see it. And let's just say that I accidentally made a mistake and I brushed out like that. Now you can come over here and click on erase and erase it with an erase brush, but a faster, easier way is to just hold in the Alt or Option key, Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, and when you do, you'll get that erase brush as long as you're holding in that alt option key. So you could come in and erase, like go oh, the alt option key and you have your regular brush back. That is a keyboard shortcut I use all the time. Now, here's another one. Let's say you see all these pins. We see a pin here, we see a pin here. Let's say I had the sky mask and I had a pin there and I had an object mask and I had a pin there and you have all these different masks and you just don't want to see those pins, right, anymore? You could go down to the toolbar. Toolbar is this little real estate above the film strip right here. I could go here and go to never, but there is a keyboard shortcut to jump to never uh, on this. All you need to do is hit the H key, H for hide. And when you do that, you'll temporarily go to never, or you'll permanently go to never if you want to, and you'll get rid of all those pins. If you want those pins back, hit the H key again, and you'll get those pins back. That is another keyboard shortcut I often use when I'm doing masking in Lightroom Classic. Now my favorite, <laughs> no, not my favorite, but another keyboard shortcut and one I actually always use is when I'm done with masking, I don't go over here and like click and close masking. I just hit Shift W. Shift W closes down masking. So when you're done with masking, just hit Shift W and you're done with masking and you can close it right down. So there are six uh, Lightroom Classic masking keyboard shortcuts that I often use, whether or not they're my favorite or not, I don't know, but I use them all the time. And I think maybe four of those, Scott lists in his article, Scott has 10, and some of them are actually keyboard shortcuts. They're like menu items you could go to. But his article is um, very useful, and I do recommend you read it. Again, I'll have that linked in the description below this video, along with uh, the link to my Ultimate Lightroom Classic training course, along with that discount code. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.